used to be a path that cut through here to get over there. Ah, good, there's somebody here at the house. So this is her house right here. Um, I've never been inside that house. It's kind of like a campground, yeah. See, we got up here, it's all electric. Um, we had a well full of water and everything. And so, and this right here is our house. And when it get dark out here, Marquise, when it's dark, it's pitch black dark. Uh, you, no, it was more, we saw some deer at time to time. Bobcat. Um, no, never a bobcat, nothing like that. And then, um, Miss, Miss Swartz and them used to live next door. I don't know if they know if they still live there or not. I'll ask him. Hey, how you doing today? No problem. Do the, do the Swartz still live next door to you? That's been a long time. They've been a long time? Because I remember, I knew, I, oh, let me do some stuff. My, my name is Robert Gibson. My father used to own this house here. Oh, no yeah, many years ago, Rudolph Gibson. And um, I, I lived here me. from um, 1980 to 85. Okay. And how long have you lived here? Oh, gosh. Uh, 1990. 1990, okay. And so um, I, my son, he's older now. And that's my stepson. So I told him we live in California now. And so I said, well, let me take you guys on a trip this weekend and we'll get out and I'll show you where I used to live. Check out the old neighbor. And show you okay. what real okay. camping, because where they live in California, it's not really real camping. Uh -huh. And he's like, Marquise, is this real camping? Yeah. Okay. And so <laughs> the camping, when I came to California, I said, you guys are backyard camping. And so yeah. I was going to, I came basically to walk up the hill to show him. Um, where we used to live at and um, I have some pictures black and white pictures of the house taken from that tree looking down at the house yeah. and things like that and uh, now that he's seen it he'll be a reference to those pictures like oh dad okay I see what you're talking about you know okay. and everything okay. so I didn't want to alarm you or nothing, nothing like that oh, and yeah. say like, hey who are you guys because she I talked to her right there and she lives in Chuck's old house and yeah. she she asked me because I said yeah I know Chuck I knew the Oscars there I knew the sports and if you drop through name people know hey okay right, you're right. not here to do us any harm so I wanted to yeah yeah not worried not yeah worried. shake your hand is the log cabin still at the very end? Log cabin still at the very end. Uh huh. And uh, if you're looking to, you know, just take a hike and put a couple of, but you'll see a little bit of the, the woods, the uh -huh. trail you walk past it, that goes through. Because there used to be road. a trail that S turned right there at some point. It used to be in the curve right there yeah. that went down to the to the gravel road that went there. Because when I lived here, they already had clear cut it. Right. So this is I know kind of where it's at, but I'm not going to take them into that. But I I know what's over there. Well, there, there, yeah, mm. there's a dog trail that uh, they cut the old gravel road. Uh huh. Uh, I think the timber company got tired of. Yeah, Chucky running his dirt bike up uh -huh. and down. Yeah, she told me Chuck comes up to go hunting and stuff and everything. I knew yeah. him when he was a kid. Yeah. And I, I knew his father and I knew his mom. Yeah. You know, and my dad had told me that his um, dad had got shot or killed to found him by, by the dump yeah. years yeah. back. Sad, sad. And um, it was sad, sad. You know, so I was like, wow, you know. Yeah. But I, I knew him as a kid. And um, this, how long ago did the Swartz move out? Gosh, they moved out... You know, it had to be about ten years ago. About ten years ago, where um, where where um, was George still alive at that point, and, yeah. and, and the daughters and Becky and Brenda? It wasn't the most fantastic. Uh huh. Ever. And how was Marta doing? She was doing good, mm -hmm. and they, uh, you yeah, know, she was at retirement age. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they built, uh, they had a little bit of land up on up in the San Juan Islands. Mm -hmm. And so they built a house there, and and. Okay. 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 So, and Becky and Brenda, they were doing okay. The daughters? You know, I, I didn't really get to know them. They were kind of grown by the time. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't see them. Much. Oh, okay. All right. Well, th well, once again, nice meeting you. Good to see and you, we'll, sir. I might come back up again with my wife on the 4th of July because we're going to ride our motorcycle to Seattle. And I told her I would um, drive her, take her up on the road, take her to the top of my hood because I used to work at the um, Zigzag Ranger Station for a while, summer job. I've worked okay. at the um, okay. Mount Hood Meadows, the lodge, right. busting tables a few times. So that's where they're headed next to show them. And I'm taking by Lake Trillium and show them where I did um, the cleaning stuff over there for it too. I worked for the ranger station before. Yeah, okay. And Very so cool. I'm going to give them the whole, uh, immerse them into what real life has been like. And 
what they've been showing me, what he told me about camping, I said, nah, you don't know yeah, camping, you dude. <laughs> you, you, you haven't seen the Sandy River, you don't know camping. You know, no. or Welch's or Bright West. You don't know how the nearest store is five miles, which is right. Well, you don't know these things. You're convenient. You can walk off the street. Or how I used to ride the bike from here to Santa Union High School, the old location, and it's four uphill, four downhill. Both of them started at the bottom of a two-mile hill. <laughs> so, you know, for somebody growing up around here, you know, mm -hmm. camping is where you put everything in your yeah. backpack and you go five miles. Yeah, back and if you look on your map, you can go that way for days and never hit anybody. That's I got the great. Clackamas County map, and I know what's over there. Nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, and... You can still get to it. The uh, the uh, Salmon River Trail. Mm -hmm. Walking up that. That's just gorgeous. Mm, okay. There's, there's that spot that's just. It's not far up. It's not far up from the bridge. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but where the the trail's like 40 feet up in into the cliff face, and you're looking out, and you can see the, the you know the trees. They're just giant. You know, dug fir pillars right Ooh. out in front of you. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, once again, thank you very much for your time. I'm um. I'm going to take a pie to the flat section and back up, but I just wanted to let you know who I am. Yeah, no okay. worries. Good to, good, right. good to meet the All folks right. who used to live here. All right, nice Very to meet cool. you. All right. So what have you done to the house? Okay, well, you see it's different. I see you got the, you see you got a deck on the front. I see the, um, the, the, the got the garage, the, the carport section working there. And we never used the front half of the house. Actually, the front door is actually on the other side. We never, I think that's what it was. No, what? No, this was the front door. That It was just a back door with a little deck. But it looks like you enclosed the deck in over there. So we, we enclosed the deck in and turned uh -huh. that into a sort of a walk-in closet slash master bedroom. We made the bedroom bigger. Uh huh. Uh, we built the, the living room out front. Uh huh. Uh, added that on and you know put the big old deck there with mm -hmm. the, you know, the railing and the flowers and the uh huh. And, uh, and of course the car sheds new. Yeah, yeah. My dad used to have a, a garden on the back side of the garage over there. And we had a basketball court at one time, but the garage, the driveway slopes away, so I was never good at that shot because it wasn't level field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, not hardly fair. Yeah, not hardly fair at all. Yeah. Okay. So as I remember, you, you own two acres then, starting up here, going down the hill. Yeah. 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 Okay, so one first acre was on flat ground, everything else went sloped downhill. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Not much you can do with it. Not much you can do with it, but it's cut a few trees and yeah, then you got to... Technically a lot, but... <laughs> yeah, it's nothing you can do with it, really. No. Um, but yeah, I was telling them about how when I, I could miss the bus, I made a shortcut which go straight that way, which downhill. And right with you, when you go down the hill, you notice that it cuts to the right up the hill a little bit. But there's nothing there. I used to have a log, went across that, zig that. It was a whole journey. And then I even knew um, 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 the lay the people, the older people um, that lived in the house at the bottom. They were real old when I was here. Um, old uh, Bob. Bob. Yeah, Bob. Bob. Nelson. Yeah, I know Bob Nelson. Yeah, he and his wife. Away about five years ago. About five years ago. Yeah. He wow. Was, he was because he he was, he was a hell of a character. Yeah, he was. Oh, him and my dad got along great. He showed my dad how to do chainsaws and stuff. He brought a car hood up here one time, and we threw the wood in the car hood, and he drug it over to the house. We were doing some stuff back there, cutting yeah. some wood up. And he was just very helpful, my dad. My dad, he showed my dad how to cut the trees, how to fall in the correct way, because my dad was from the city, and he, he just bought the house from the, originally the house belonged to the Coxes, which moved into a trailer house uh -huh. over off, um, I think that's the summertime that cuts it right, right here. Yeah. And they moved over there because I guess their dad couldn't afford it. And so he bought the house from what I remember he telling me was 24000 And we was the second owner. Uh -huh. And then um, I don't recall what he sold it for because I went back to California. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we, we met that. He was, man, he was. Bob was a fun guy. Mm -hmm. he, uh, yeah. When when he got to the point where he, he figured he was too old to be driving, uh -huh. uh, you know, he'd just wait in front of, he, he'd wait at that turn in the morning. And whoever was coming down the hill on the way to the work, he'd just flag him down, hop in, and, uh -huh. and uh, <laughs> one day, uh, yeah, the, the social folks the, from Gresham, they, they wanted him to move into a retirement home, uh -huh. flat wouldn't have it, he mm -hmm. uh, he'd live there, he was going to die there, Yeah, yeah. and one day, he uh, got it into his head that, that he had topped this old cedar tree, and they had put out all these great big suckers, you know, and it, they'd grown up through the power lines, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, Bob decided he was uh, he was gonna uh, you know clean that mess up. He got on his climbing spikes mm -hmm. when he was a logger, hustled up that tree, and he's up there, built himself a little platform, and he's dropping limbs right amongst the power lines. He's just kind of pushing them away so he can chainsaw. Uh -huh. 
and the PGE guys come out and they tell them, you can't be doing that, sir. You got to get down out of that tree. Those are live power lines. Uh, and it, yeah, he won't listen to them. <laughs> so they call the police. Uh -huh. And the police come out and they say, sir, you got to get out of that tree. You cannot be chainsawing right next to live power lines. Mm -hmm. And Bob looks at him, he thinks about it a minute, and he says, I'm 90 years old. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> 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 yeah, they, they let him finish cutting. Uh huh. Okay, they go. They could do a walk. Say they like. Oh, okay. All right. Just keep it going. Question: that Is that White House still over there? The trees are growing up for, and they had a whole bunch of Volkswagens around the house. It was right. It was like straight, directly straight line. If you walk through the bushes, it was a little bit of issue, if, 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 effort to get there. But they had a whole bunch of gang of Volkswagens over there. They might still be over there. I don't know. My dad had a Volkswagen. We were okay. hiking one time. We went over there him about some parts but he didn't want to sell and so he was like oh, okay well i'm gonna head back I'm down the hill back to it my fire's gonna go out oh, okay Look, you guys have a good weekend okay? all right you too all right we ain't gonna take you the whole tour guide we got places to go but it goes further back and there's a log cabin at the very end that this guy built it was like a tight Strong rock. You tired? You hungry, huh? You? <laughs> you feel me? Walking up this hill. Take the hill. Take the camper, bop. You feel me? I'm directing. Look down that drop. I think Rob used to run down there like he Tarzan or something. You feel me? Like father, like son. Urkel and Urkel. See what I'm saying? down here and you know you make I had to make my own little uh, gully that's the property line right there so from here to this corner right here is all his stuff you can come through here and he's gonna take you because you can play in right there you know but it's still gonna sweep you down you know but this is real camping. Like that. 